what's up guys welcome back to half man half tech so finally we have the release of mac os 13 public beta or mac os ventura public beta now this is available to public beta testers and if you have a supported device and here i have a list of all the supported devices it's quite unfortunate that the compatibility of some devices were dropped so for a macbook pro as you can see here you need a 2017 and later for the macbook a you need a 2018 and later for the imac pro you need a 2017 and for the imac you need a 2017 or later for the mac pro 2019 or later and for the mac studio 2020 and mac mini you need a 2018 or later and for the macbook the small macbook you need a 2017 and later so you can see when it comes to the macbook pro and macbook is the way quite a number of devices that have been dropped so this sort of gives you an idea whether to bother trying to update to the public beta since it's now available so once you've uh, realized that your device is supported or not supported you can actually go to this website it's free of charge and it's the official apple website it's beta.apple com and once you arrive at this website you will see that it's apple beta software program and it allows you to enroll your devices into the apple beta program so this gives you the ability to be able to update your devices to ios 16 ipad os 16 mac os ventura tv os 16 watch os 9 and homepod software 16. now most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man half tech when it comes to all these devices and software updates so if you want to know what's new with these updates and keep up to date then definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date now once you arrive at this page i will leave this link in the description of this video so that you can find it easy and basically if you don't have an account you can click here where it says sign up but if you do have an account like i do you can sign in and it will take you to the page that i'm about to show you so once you click where it says sign in or you create an account and sign in you come up to this account or this page that you see here guide for public betas now if you want ios you can go here and read all what's new about ios 16 and be able to update your iphone to ios 16 but since this is about mac os ventura you just have to go to the mac os tab here and go to where it says enroll your mac now before we click here where it says enroll your mac there is a special segment here that says back up your mac and it says mac os public beta is still in development so it does come with some bugs and issues and glitches which means some applications and services may not work as expected and their data may not be uh, may may not be backwards compatible so this is a very important note to note and it's advised that you back up your mac using time machine so basically just go into the system preferences and then go where it says a time machine here and connect an external hard drive and you'll be able to back up your device before updating to a beta I do not advise you update your main device to a beta since most of the application and softwares may not yet be compatible but this is highly recommended that you back up your device so once you've done backing up your device you can now go here to under the subsection where it says get started you notice there's this link that says enroll your mac now if you click it it will bring you to this page that says back up your mac first and they trying to make sure that you do back up your mac before you download so if you click where it si says download the mac os public beta access utility you click there you notice it downloaded a dmg file and i'm just gonna save it to let's say for let's say for to the desktop for now and you notice it's a small file and it's automatically downloaded if i click here you see this is the pkg file that has just been downloaded and it's pub mac os public beta uh, access utility if i double click on it you notice that this pops up on my main monitor so basically it says not 
no time machine backup detected uh, and you have to acknowledge whether you want to proceed so if you click ok it will bring you to the introduction license destination and uh, installation type so if you click continue it comes to the license and you have to go like read about it and con click where it says continue and to continue installing the software you must agree to the terms and conditions click agree and basically this will take 211 kilobytes of your space on your computer and then once you're done just click install input your administrative password so let me just do that and once you do this click enter and you notice that it's validating and it automatically opens the software update page it's taking for an update but you can see that for me on my macbook pro i just got an update and it's available for my mac and you notice that this is mac os monterey 12.5 beta 5 now this is the one i'm getting because if we go into the about this mac section you'll notice that this mac is actually a 50 inch 2016 macbook pro so if you remember correctly you can see that for the macbook pro you need a 2017 and later and that is why for me i am getting this uh, mac os monterey 12.5 beta i'm enrolled into the uh, developer beta program but if you do have a supported device that is a 28 2017 and later macbook pro or 2018 and later macbook a or any of the the supported devices that are listed here then you'll be able to see mac os 13 public beta so this is the public beta and uh, this is the best way and the safest way that you can update it you can download it from the official beta website from apple and this is mac os ventura public beta you can now finally enjoy some of the new features and changes that came with the update but again do remember that this is still in beta and there are some bugs and issues that are still going to come about and compatibility with some applications and softwares uh, may not always work as expected so that's about it for me guys let me know if you'd like to see something else when it comes to some other software updates like ios ipad os tv os or watch os how you can update your devices to those betas if that's something that you wish to do so that's about it for me stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace